May the 4th in San Jose, where both the Avalanche and Sharks are looking for the force to be with them tonight on a beautiful spring evening in the Bay Area. Ready to see who breaks a 2-2 series deadlock in this round two series. Now McKinnon drops it off. Sidorov, but he blasted that high, and away goes Thornton. Room down that right or left leg for Jumbo Joe into the slot. The bank scores. Now there was a high stick in front of the net just prior to LeBanc release. We're and talking if they can it over. The Kentucky Derby result, then uh, this goal might not stand either. Just before the puck went in the net, we had a minor penalty of Timo Meyer for high sticking, no goal. That great skating that we talked about. Nice lead feed from McCarr. Comfort right on. Rebounds. Oh, what a stop. That's a great save by Jones right there. Point blank range in front of the net with 5.05 to play in the period. Both for two in game four. Another chance here. Hurdle shooting and it knocked down in front, but they don't clear. It's kept in by Carlson. Now Couture down low. And what a stop by Grubauer as they move it around and Hurdle looks skyward after that missed chance. Boy, there's just no stopping going through the neutral zone. Here they come again. Kevin LeBeck, Sorensen, Thornton, LeBeck, big stop. As Grubauer read the play nicely. It's worked loose back to Gerard. See if they get one last shot with a man advantage. Here it is. Oh, what a stop. Jones goes post to post. Uh, you can just basically say, wow. Back to back kills. Two short-handed shots for San Jose. No power play shots. But Copper right on. Rebound. Scores. Off Jost and in. And it is a nice breaking goal for Colorado. And Tyson Jost has his first ever Stanley Cup playoff goal. There's Burns. Eric Carlson. Couture fires. Scores! You'll see Hurdle 48. Watch him turn the stick. Shot from the point right there off his stick and just inside the post. And he is deserving of a goal with all the chances he's had in this game. McKinnon, Landis, Cog, and Rantanen up against Couture with Nyquist and Meyer. The goals came two minutes and 39 seconds apart. Here's a break. Couture in. And he's stopped by Grubauer. Broken play. And away he goes. And Philip Grubauer gives him nothing. Donskoy covers the point. Kane with the shark circling again. Donskoy with the move inside. Gerard knocked it. Classic. Shot, loose, scores! Tomas Hurdle! Those long, sustained offensive zone shifts that was absent in game four is back here in this one. And you see Hurdle just overpower McKinnon at the point of attack, giving the Sharks a one goal lead. He's been all around the puck all night long in game five. It finally paid off. Joe Pavelski whipping up the fans in a frenzy. And that was the towels they handed out tonight. Appropriate enough. 2.39 later, Hurdle, now a chance in front. Oh, what a stop, rebound. How did that not go in? A tremendous chance for Colorado, and Tyson Berry gets stopped by Jones. Avalanche look to tie it here. Nathan McKinnon with just under two to go, knocked down. Nyquist ahead, Couture open net, and he missed it. No icing. But a reprieve, now another chance missed. It'll be McKinnon across Tyson Berry. McKinnon again, bouncing it in front to the corner, severing pass denied, another chance. Time winding out, a shot wide, and the Sharks hold on. It was fast, it was furious, and game five goes to the San Jose Sharks. The Sharks ensure they haven't played their last game here at SAP Center. And Tomas Hurdle with a pair of goals, including the game winner at 626 of the third.